man, it's, uh, what is it, uh, today's Thursday, a Thursday, a September 14th, it's about a week away from the beginning of fall, uh, it's about uh, 60 degrees, fairly cloudy right now, I'm heading into the upper Buffalo Wilderness area, so here's the plan, man. I head into the Bowen Gulf area. There I will secure a bluff. And it is there and only there that I will camp for the night. Oh, first bluff. The first indication of a bluff line action. First tiny little bluff. And I'm heading down into the, the drainage area. Oh, look at this, man. I just look at it. We've got a, a bushcraft style overhang right here. Where you could live for years after some kind of a nuclear annihilation. You got lots of big powders. Uh, I even got a little bit of harder out there, so it's dry right time of the year. You could you could hunker down real good, man. This is the base so inclined. That's a fair amount of boulders. Yeah, man, started out mostly cloudy. And as I expected, it's starting to clear up. The sun is, uh, is visible. And that's real nice. Yeah, this is a little tributary I'm going to follow down. Oh, it's a tributary of uh, a bone gulf. It's twarplex. Alright, this is where this little creek uh, hits the lower bluff line. As evidenced by that right there. And twerplets. Usually twerplets are singing when you get close to a bluff line. That's a known fact. to see this with some water flowing through it. A series of drops. And it drops over something right there. Whew. Get up on top of the bluff line there, but I'm going to stay at the base this morning. Got a little bit of a trickle here with some a uh, drink of water. There's a goodly sized sweet gum tree right there. Quite large. A little waterfall here. Dry, of course. But it's got uh, this unusual formation. Like it's made of dirt and rock and it's just a bunch of aggregate style shit. Look at that man. I just look at it. I saw a laces over him.
a fantastic bluff line. At least the bottom is, the top's not that great. Yeah, I've been in this area, I don't know, two or three times. I find it to be quite lovely. Not quite lovely yet. Deadly dangerous. There you can see the inherent danger. These rocks are falling from the bluff top constantly. I heard one fall just a moment ago. I could have been under it. You could have been under it, man woman, child. And like, wow, dude. While this here seems to be a, a place of constant mollusness, I mean, just look at all the ferns. There's even a cobblestone here. More than likely laid by the ancient Anjimbabwe Indians oh, that inhabited these bluffs. Oh, this is probably where they got a, a constant supply of water. A real nice like. Now that tower is what I like to refer to as a, a hellacious overhang. I mean, look at uh, look at how smooth Ooh. it is up in there. It's so damn smooth. All these big pouts have sheared right off of there. Oh, it is the tightness. And he almost nearly slips. Terrific bow does everywhere. I mean, look at that. Out here, this huge chunk of the bluff line just fell away. Oh my, look at that bear crack. They're better known as a bear's butt crack. In some cultures. There's another little spring-like area. Oh, well, of course it's slippery. Look at that huge boulder over there. And there's a cave-like opening right up there. Like, I don't think it goes in very far. There's, uh, there's my buddy, a little beech tree. I really need to carve my name in it. Well, that's what you do when you're in the woods. Is it not? It's Bushcraft Survival Time. 
rained a couple of days ago and look at this leaf filled with nutritious and hydrating water I'm gonna partake of it right now oh yeah oh that was very refreshing I think you just find quite a few of those you'd be in business if you're trying to survive uh, I don't think you need that because numerous springs along here there's another one this one's uh, all part of good size now look at this spot right here there's a lot of water even the even some fires. Oh, look at the roots on that beech tree, man. There's never ending wonders along this block line, man. Even the grave of the guy that settled this area in 1829, a Jim Bob, a chib sucker. That's right, Jim Bob, chib sucker. Uh, he was a bachelor, had, had no wife, he never married, he lived off the land. I dare say he lived off these pautas. He survived in this area for about uh, 10 years, I think it was, before he uh, he slipped. Yep, that's right, he, he slipped. He fell off on these bouts. And, uh, and then he, uh, he perished. As some would say, as some would say, he, he gave up the ghost. He gave it right up. Did he not? Oh my, look at the size of that, that beech tree there, but it lost most of its trunk, but still survived. That just goes to show you all that a beech tree can survive. Got it, man. Boulder, boulder, boulder. Boulders in every direction. All makes and models of boulders. All sexes living in harmony. Another huge boulder. Ah, oh, starting to open up into the valley out there. Oh yeah. I've been pretty closed in for a while. How about I? And uh, I'll hang on. I'll hang on. I'm curious. Whew. Bluff line and more very large a little bit of a juicy about us quite massive Whew. quite juicy all the about us I mean, just look. Just look at those damn boulders. My goodness. And I uh, hang on. A uh, bingo. Well, I've got to go straight down. Hit that valley. But I want to go with branches right down in there. And then I go back up the other side to this level, hit that other bluff line. And uh, 
Yeah. I have reached the Bowen Gulf Branch. And it's pretty dry. And it's pretty trashy. I might just look at all kinds of whole kinds of timber trash up on that. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. All timber trash. I'm like, yeah. I'm a, oh, yeah. I'm a, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, man, I'm going to uh, take a little break here and get me some water before I head up that crap. I'm using this Catadine Be Free. Had it a while. Use it occasionally. It works okay. It's hard to get it uh, get it flowing real good though. Good and steep, man. But I am good. I got uh, 65 degrees. Well, that's one nice hole right there. Right there. I have reached the bluff line, man. Woman, child, whatever. Soon I will be up top. Mounting the bluff. Bluff top has been achieved. And there's the valley, man, right there. All branches must step aside. For I am king of all I survey. There's a nice breeze up there, man. Oh, that's where I am go. Oh, my goodness. I like a camp right there. That looks cozy. You sleep out in the open right up against that rock, man. All right, it's about 11.30. And I have arrived. And there it is, man. The Bowen Gulf off range. Heading to the up buffalo that way. That's right. Lunch time, man. These oak trees here have been getting taller and taller, and they just uh, are very close to obscuring the view. 
Feels great out here. It's breezy. It's mostly sunny. I'm being bothered by an occasional yellow jacket. Man, it's about two o'clock. I've chosen to sleep in a tent tonight. Well, sometimes I put a uh, hammock right there. Which them two trees? So I'm just gonna sleep right here in this little bastard. Uh, no tarp. I think it probably is going to get down to around 60, maybe the upper upper 50s. But this is my setup. That's my lounging area. I'm going to have a tiny, tiny, tiny little fire right there. Hopefully I can throw some yellow jackets in there and burn them alive. I would enjoy that. And, uh, yeah. Would have been better if I had a hammock. Probably I could have just lounged in it right now. It always seems to be too hot to lounge in a tent. Chip Sucker Creek heads up to the left. And then that creek... To the right goes up to where Magnolia Falls is and Woody Headed Falls Boys Falls is and I oh, should like that. Well who cares? That's where everybody goes, that's not where I go. But uh, I got this this little bluff right here. There was this one time at this camp, I set up my tent right there on the edge, right there. And my whole tent almost rolled off the bluff in the night. Luckily that tree was there and it caught me. I would have been dead. I would have been dead for sure.
Low rod mine, it's 520. Oh, it's 520. Uh, getting ready to have me some, uh, some something. Uh, it's about 72 degrees, man. Still breezy. I'm sure the wind will calm down as it gets darker as usual. I'm going to sit down right here. And hope I don't slip off into the chasm. By the way, just how deep is this chasm? Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! That's pretty damn deep. Uh, this is uh, chicken and dumplings, I believe, at Mountain House. I had to cut them in half because they only seem to come in ter serving, two serving portions. And I'm only one serving. So, I've had it before, pretty good. And I'd say this view's pretty good too, man. If not just good, damn good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I really hit the spot, man. Well, I, I ain't sure which spot, but I guess it's this spot right here. Yeah, I don't know. Buffalo River through that slot. Yep, this one's really high. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't guess it's any high. Yeah, man, first time I ever came to this bluff was in the fall. This is a good one. Yeah, right over that bluff there, that's where I'm camping.
It's 630, man. About 70 degrees. It's 10 after 7 and the sun is getting close to going down, man. I got my little fire going, it won't last long, but I... It's so chilly out here, it's really warming my cockles. It's warming them real good. What temperature is? Uh, about 68. 68 degrees. That's a good start. Once that sun drops, man, it's going to drop down into the 30s for sure. Be happy with 58.
Oh yes. Oh yes. It's uh, six o'clock. Uh, six o'clock. I slept pretty well. I guess I'm gonna get up. Sunrise is uh, when is it? <sighs> Our sunrise is a six, a fed of six. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, man, it's 6.55. Pretty close to sunrise. Happening over our... I'm gonna piddle around here a little while this morning and uh, then head out.
That's about 51 degrees. Skies are mostly clear, a little bit of cloudiness, not much. It does feel a little humid though. Well, all right, I'm uh, heading out. I got to go up there uh, somewhere. All right, man, I'm, I'm down the bluff line. I just gotta go down this hill and hit the valley, I just slipped, hit the valley floor. This is my favorite kind of terrain. Small boulders and kinds of vegetation, leaves, you can't see what's under the rocks, between the rocks, yeah, that's just good stuff. Well, once again, I ain't on butter and riding a log in the woods. Oh, thank you, log. I grab about timber trash, but sometimes it does uh, provide a, a service. Back down to the creek. Oh, it's so dark down here. This creek being Bowen Gulf Branch once again. I look at that poo. And right there, there's another poo. There's another poo right there. Yeah, man, this here is the confluence of uh, a bone called branch. Continues on that way with all kinds of timber trash. And this creek right here, that's uh, Chib Sucker Creek. And after Jim Bob Chib Sucker. I told you the story earlier. Well, the next phase is departing the valley and heading up the slope. Out to the ridge. Finally up on top. Oh yes. Out of the dark valley into the morning sunlight. I so refreshing. Is it not? Beautiful morning. Got down to 51 degrees last night. About 65 now. Warming up quickly. Just come.
come up on a, a big old hog. Oh, some little porkies. See if we can sneak up on this fat bastard. Hey, Parky! Parky! Hey! Come here! You! Parky! Hey! Parky! Hey, damn Parkies. And there it is, man. Good boy, I appreciate you waiting for me, man. I'll do it for a 40.